What is going on, y'all? Welcome to the Reed DuPont Show. Welcome to the pod. Pretty cool episode today. Y'all have been wanting this episode for a minute, so we're going to get right into it. We're talking gym talk, but in particular, we're talking about diet and uh, meal, prepping, meal prepping and, you know, what to eat, what not to eat. I know there's a lot of uh, guys out there that are following me, guys and girls that are following me that want to see more gym content, and especially this in particular, so we're going to get right into it. Um, I'm currently, I'm weighing at right at 190 and, um, my goal personal, I'm trying to maintain at around 193, anywhere from really like 190 to 195. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, that's like literally perfect. I'm just hitting that where I want to be. Um, I've been at 200 before I've been all the way down to 180 before. Um, but I think like 190 is, you know, I feel comfortable at 190. And I can still lift heavy, but look lean. Um, so that's where I'm at. You can kind of take that in perspective when I'm talking about uh, food and whatnot. Um, so I just want to pull up. Um, I use the app My Fitness Pal. Not sponsored by them whatsoever. Just uh, it's an awesome app. You can calculate all your macros on the app. Um, and I just want to pull up just real fast what what my goals are. Um, so currently I'm, I'm shooting for, um, 3,500 calories a day. If I hit 3000 calorie calories, I'm chilling. Like that's all right. But I really want to try to hit that 3,500 mark. And then to, just to break down my macros, um, I'm looking at about 430 carbs per day, uh, 78 grams of fat and around 300 grams of protein per day. Um, that would be like literally ideal, perfect situation. So that's what I'm trying to hit every day. Some days I'm a little higher, some days I'm a little lower, but as long as I got a goal set, that's why I use my fitness pal every day. I can calculate everything. I can see, you know, exactly what I'm eating and where I, where I end up at the end of the day. Um, so I definitely recommend whether you have a notebook or whatever, calculate your macros, calculate your food intake throughout the day. So let's break into it real fast. Um, start out in the morning. I always have a glass of water to start out my day. I try to get a gallon of water in a day. So I start with some, just a glass of water in the morning. I do not like to, like, I don't like to eat in the morning. I don't start like packing in food till about one o'clock-ish. Um, so, you know, in the morning I go super light. I usually have around four to five egg whites, only egg whites, get the, get the yolk out of there. I'm trying to, you know, lower my cholesterol as much as I can, so get that, Get that egg yolk out of there, straight egg whites, about four to five eggs. And then um, I usually have a protein shake in the morning. I actually just hopped off like literally all protein powders for cholesterol reasons and just for other reasons um, that I don't like what companies are putting in these protein powders. So I actually just went to like the, the Power Core, um, like uh, Power Core drink, it's like a protein shake, um, but it's a lot less dense and whatnot. Um, still got like 42 grams of protein. So I, right in the morning, I already got that, like with that plus the eggs, I'm already at, geez, I'm already at like 80 something grams of protein just right off the bat, but it's light, it's super light. Like, like I said, I don't like to eat breakfast in the morning. Those, both of those things are easily to get down in the morning, I'm not trying to get down like oatmeal or, um, you know, like full breakfast with toast and bacon and whatnot. And so then, that's breakfast. Head over to lunch. I like to ha get as much carbs as I can. As I like to work out around like one-ish. It really depends. Sometimes I work out at 10, sometimes I work out at one. Sometimes I work out at like six or seven or eight. But ideal, I like to work out like right after lunch, like around one-ish. Um, so with that being said, I gotta get carbs in around noon. So I'm literally eating straight up rice. I'm eating rice, rice, rice. Throw some honey on top and I'll put just like a little like shredded chicken or something just to get that protein in. But straight up carbs um, and that honey for some sugar to get me all energized. That's literally like my pre-workout meal is basically rice, honey, and some like chicken or some avocado on top, something like that. Um, after workout, pre, after post-workout, um, I will come home and that's when I will cook up like, that's when I usually start up the oven. I'll throw in either like a bunch of chicken, chicken thighs, or I'll cook up um, some kind of like stir fry on the stove. Um, get a lot of, you know, fats, proteins. Um, try to stick away from the carbs after post-workout. 
Because, you know, right after your workout, that's your time to recover. It's your best time. So you want to get a lot of food in, a lot of water in um, right after your workout. And then um, at night, it's literally the same thing. I'm either eating, you know, sometimes I'm eating fast food. Sometimes I'm eating, like, Chick-fil-A and stuff. Um, but if I'm at home cooking stuff, I'm eating, like, literally beef. I'm eating lamb. Um, I'll be eating, uh, this for protein-wise, salmon, um, stuff like that. And then I'll eat that over not rice, because that's like right before I'm going to bed. Um, I'll eat that over like, gosh, something like really, really like not much carbs in it. Uh, sometimes I'll just have like a protein and yogurt. Like I'll eat a lot of yogurt um, a day. You know, it's just easy to get down for me. Um, and then obviously my gallon of water. So obviously the snacks in between there and whatnot um, that I'm missing. But y'all heard the macros. I'll read them again for y'all. Uh, I'm trying to push 300 grams of protein a day, uh, 70, 79 grams of fat. I mean, if I hit 100 grams, it's all right. Um, and then around 444 grams of um, carbs a day. So it's been working for me. I'm, like I said, I'm weighing around like 190 right now. Uh, I want to be around 190, 195 and just maintain that. Because summer's around the corner, obviously I want to look lean while still have muscle on me and uh, you know be able to lift heavy. Uh, I went, I did 130s uh, bench press dumbbells today for three. I did two sets of that, um, so I'm still lifting heavy. Um, obviously, like I was at 200 at one point, I was you know I was eating like 4,000 calories a day, and I hit 200 for like two days. It's too hard to maintain, but like that's when I was lifting like 315 and. Um, stuff like that, but this is like a perfect weight for me. I, I don't know what y'all are weighing or what your goals. I know summer's coming, so a lot of people are trying to cut um, and get that, you know, that summer bod ready. Um, if you got any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll be answering literally every, co every comment that I can, or I'll make a video about all the comments. Last thing I'd add, just th I'll throw in my split real fast. Uh, currently, it's chest tries, back buys, and then leg shoulders. And on leg shoulders, it's like it's like an hour on legs and then about like 25 minutes on shoulders. Um, I work out about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes a day, give or take. I'm in there, I'm locked in, we're ready to roll. Um, if I'm working with a partner, it pushes it to around more like two hours because obviously we're going back and forth. Um, that's my split, it's been working for me. And, you know, I try to hit everything, you know, at least two times a week, if not three, but mostly it's two times a week. And then like one muscle group will hit three times a week. Um, and when I'm doing these exercises, whether I'm working out chest, back, by, legs, shoulders, guys, I limit it to only three, four max, the amount of machines that I do. So I'll only do three machines when I'm at the gym or I only do four machines when I'm at the gym, max. And when I mean machines, I'm talking about whether it's you know, bench press, dumbbells, or actual machines, um, you know, accessory machines, whatnot. So for instance, I'll just, real fast, if I'm doing chest, like I did chest today, I did flat bench, I did flat bench dumbbells, so that's one exercise. Then I went over and did Smith machine incline, that's two exercises, and then I did um, um, dumbbell, uh, I did uh, cable flies. That's three exercises. That's all I did for chest today. But, but I did each exercise for 20 minutes. Um, why do exercises that don't work, that don't, you haven't seen progress doing? So I'd rather do exercises that I know work, do each for 20 minutes, right, right, bam, you're at an hour, just like that. Um, so that's my kind of take when I'm processing, you know, what kind of, um, what, what, uh, when I'm entering the gym, how I'm gonna you know work out for that day? Uh, I know people that you know do five, six, seven, eight exercises, eight, eight machines, machines per uh, workout, which is fine, especially if you're trying to get that intensity, trying to work out a lot of different parts on the muscle. But that's not really how I roll. Um, so just a tip for y'all if you're looking for. Um, there's a tip for me in terms of you know working on your split and whatnot. Appreciate it. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in that next video. Peace.